Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to recreate this really cute high bun which is perfect for a wedding or any other kind of special occasion. Now the first thing that I did was shampoo and condition my hair using the Tresemme Keratin Smooth Shampoo and Conditioner. This is really great for controlling frizz and it's just really nice to have healthy, lovely looking hair for a wedding. I think that's really important. And I know that I'm putting mine up into a bun, but halfway through the night, I might decide to just bring it back down to a ponytail like this, which looks really nice as well. And you just want your hair to be looking bouncy and healthy and lovely. So as you can see, I've just already put my hair up into a ponytail. Now the next step you want to do is just grab the ponytail and just wrap it around like this. Just holding it as you go. And keep on wrapping round till you've used up all your hair. And then I'm just going to take a pin and just push this in. And you're gonna need a few of these to secure it, depending on how much hair you have. So make sure you're doing some at the back basically just all the way around the bun and don't worry if it's not the shape that you want yet because we can kind of change that and tweak it so that's even holding with just three pins I'm just going to put in a few more just to secure it and I just want to if, if you feel like one bit sticking up and you don't want it to be then just kind of push it down and then just push a pin in And there we go, that's secured with literally about five pins and it's definitely not going anywhere. So that is the bun done. Now I'm just going to add this pretty little hair accessory, just some pearls, which I think really look pretty with this look. And literally just sit those over the bun and I think that looks so cute. And now all we need is hairspray and I'm going to use the Tresemme Touchable Finish Ultimate Hold Hairspray and just spray this all over, trying not to get it in my mouth. And that is the finished look. 